Hi there! In the previous video, we talked about the microscope along with its parts and functions. Today, we are going to learn how to use the microscope. By the way, if you still haven't watched the previous lesson, you can pause this video and watch that one first to better understand our lesson today. A microscope is a portable and very powerful tool in the field of biology. It allows us to capture images of living things to its tiniest cell and provides us with essential data about the existence of things with life. In fact, this recent pandemic introduced us to a new strain of virus, the COVID-19. How were scientists able to capture these images? Before using the microscope, here are some pointers to follow for its proper usage. First, always carry and transport the microscope in an upright position by using both hands. One hand holds the microscope by its arm and the other supports the microscope at the base. Second, always set the microscope away from the edge of the working table. Third, when revolving the nose piece to change the magnification, raise the body tube using the coarse adjustment knob beforehand. This is done to prevent breaking the slides and damaging the objectives. Fourth, adjust the diaphragm, condenser, and mirror to have a clearer view of the specimen. Fifth, do not incline the microscope when using a wet mount. Sixth, always keep the microscope dry. And lastly, keep the lenses of the eyepiece and objectives clean. Alright, now that you're ready to use the microscope, let's do this activity. Prepare a newsprint paper and cut out a letter E. Place the cutout letter E on the glass slide carefully. Put a drop of water on the cutout letter E. Place a cover slip at about a 45 degree angle over the drop of water. Gently lower the cover slip onto the slide. Tap the cover slip gently to remove air bubbles. Place the wet mount slide of the letter E on the stage of the microscope with the E facing you as you would read it. Adjust the E so that it is over the opening in the stage. Align and set properly the eyepiece, the objective, and the mirror of the microscope. Set the desired objective in place and look through the eyepiece. For artificial light, use the concave mirror. To get the brightest focus on a specimen, control the entrance of light through the diaphragm. Lower the body tube with the aid of the coarse adjustment knob. Do this carefully, seeing to it that the scanner lens does not touch the prepared slide. Look through the eyepiece. Slowly raise the body tube using the coarse adjustment knob until a clear image of the specimen appears in the field of view. Observe the specimen carefully by moving the slide slowly. Do this until you have seen and observed the whole specimen. You can also increase the magnification of the objective from scanner lens to low power objective. The image on the left shows the letter E using the scanning lens, and the image on the right is what is seen using the low power objective. Have you noticed something strange? Why is the letter E inverted? The letter appears inverted because of two sets of mirrors in the microscope. This means that the slide must be moved in the opposite direction that you want the image to move. For example, when you move the stage knob to the right, the direction of the specimen under the microscope will move to the left. Always remember that the direction of the stage knob when turned is always opposite to the direction of the specimen under the microscope. This is because of the presence of two mirrors. Now let's answer our question earlier. 
How were scientists able to capture images of COVID-19? Or, how were we able to see the small piece of letter cutout and the details of the newsprint? This ability of the microscope is called magnification. Magnification is the ability to enlarge an image of the object's apparent size, but not changing the actual physical size. This means that the specimen increases its area by the square of its magnification. So, how are you able to identify the magnification of an object? The numeric inscription written in the eyepiece and objective tells us how many times the microscope actually magnifies an object. The object's magnification can be computed as multiplying the magnification of the inscription in the eyepiece to the magnification inscription of the objective. In formula, magnification of specimen equals magnification of eyepiece times magnification of objective. In this example, the magnification of eyepiece is 10 times multiplied by the magnification of objective, which is also 10 times. Therefore, we get 100 times magnification. Here are the magnifications for each of the lenses that are commonly used. For the scanning lens, it has 40 times magnification. 100 times magnification for the low power objective and 400 times magnification for the high power objective. All right, that's all for now. In our next lesson, we will be discussing about the biological levels of organization. See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.